Hello and welcome back. So today we are going to review uh, to review our 200 chicken project and we are going to see whether it's actually working for us or not. So we decided to take you into this journey because we got so so many questions and also thank you so much for watching that video and giving us so much love. So we are going to review it with you and we are going to be very honest, as honest as we can and also we are going to give you the, the, the plans, you've asked for the plans Every day I wake up, I have so many requests for the plan. Today is the day, so stick onto this video. At the very end of this video, I'll let you know how you can get the plans, how you can modify them. All those details are in this video. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is that our 200 chicken, we've already sold them. So that is a plus for us. We didn't have any deaths, we didn't have any diseases. They did so well. So you can actually see the last ones, the remaining ones, like this jogo here. It's very big and it's quite okay. It has no problems. And so the chicken did well. It was, that, that one was a win. So the second thing, did the plastic wire hold? Six months later, is the plastic wire still there? Is it as good as it was? And yes, the plastic wire held well. It didn't sag and it's very comfortable. So another thing we learned is that this plastic wire is also very food friendly for the chicks. When the chicks came here, they were about five weeks. We didn't have any food problems with them. The wire is very comfortable for them. So that also is a plus. So the other thing was the feeding. We used to feed our, chick we feed our chicken from here, down here. That also worked very well. We don't, we don't interact with the, chicks, with the chicken when we are feeding them. So we just feed them from outside. So I got people suggesting that uh, I put the feeders outside. And yes, we did that with the first house. And we realized the challenge we had was that birds would come and feed on from the food. And that's very risky for your chicken because that brings diseases. The wild birds will come with diseases. And if they are feeding from where your chicken are feeding from, <laughs> it's a bit risky. Apart from eating the food, they'll also, they might also infect your chicken. So that's why we decided that the feeders will be from the inside covered with the wire. Also, when they are covered with this wire, it makes sure also the rodents don't get inside and eat the chicken food. In case they didn't finish the chicken, the chicken food before they go to sleep, the rodents can come and eat the food. So that, that was something that was suggested, but it wouldn't have worked for us, and so we didn't take that. So the other thing that we would like to say is that this space that you see here was supposed to be the egg collecting space, but when we were executing it, it was not as practical as we expected. And so you can actually collect your eggs from here. All you need to do is to extend these outside, but as we didn't find it necessary, as I said, our space is very small, and so maximum utilization of space was a priority for us. So the other thing that you can do to make this house better for you is to put an automatic watering system. So what you do is just you just insert a pipe inside, maybe at the middle, going all across the house, and then you insert the nipples, and that will work. But because of the place where I live and the water pressure in this place, it was not viable for us because the pressure was not constant. And at the time when I was building this house, I was not able to put a tank that I would, I would uh, be able to regulate the pressure. So I opted for the watering troughs. They have worked for me and I think I'm going to keep sticking to them. I'm not going to improve anything on that. So I think that's about it. Okay, the other thing that was suggested is that I use flat sheets here. In the former house, I actually used flat sheets for, the, for collecting the droppings. But the challenge I had is that the flat sheets were metallic, so they rusted after some time. So the reason why I used these uh, corrugated sheets is because I could not find any flat clear, also clear because of the light. I will not find any flat clear sheets to put here. Somebody suggested that I use plywood. I also think that will bring a lot of darkness, which which, which I wouldn't want. So the clear sheets that I got where I am are plastic and they are corrugated sheets. So if you know where I can get flat plastic clear sheets, please recommend. And so I think that's it for, for the reviews that we, uh, we were doing for this chicken house and also the suggestions that you guys gave, we've gone through them. Also people said that we have cramped the chicken. In this place we have prisoned the chicken, that's not true, the chicken got enough space. And as you can see, they have grown to maturity and we've sold all of them, we hadn't had any losses. So this, this house is not as small as you think. Maybe the camera doesn't give it 
pure justice, you might see that in the plan when we finally you, you finally get to get it. And so the chicken are quite comfortable. They are not cramped. They are not prisoned. We actually occasionally do give them a chance to go and uh, scratch the manure pile, which is way behind me, but that's quite not every day because you are not able to do that every day. Also, we have day jobs, so we can't keep watching the chicken to feed from the manure pile. But we give them an opportunity, maybe over the weekend, when we are free, we will give them an opportunity to go and scratch, and sometimes even within the week. So yeah, that was another suggestion. And um, well, to each their own, I will say that if you don't like your chicken living inside a house, you can't give them space to, to be free range chicken. For us, we don't have the luxury of space. And so we just work with what we have. So finally, that's it. The, that, those are all the things that uh, we looked at from your suggestions, from your feedback and everything that you told us, I think we've gone through it. And now the best part is this, that the chicken plan, the chicken house plan is ready for you. And you're going to find it, you're going to put our tap link in, on this video somewhere on the screen or even in the description box and in the comment box. So you click that WhatsApp link, it'll take you to the WhatsApp where you can get the PDF of this chicken house. You will get the one that, um, as all the measurements and all the requirements. And you will also get the one with space suggestions where you can actually customize it, customize it for, your, for your own space. You don't have to do an exact one like this. So we thought about all of you, those who have a small space, those who have a big space, but would desire such a design. So all that is catered for, please click the WhatsApp link and WhatsApp us and we are going to serve you the best way we know how. The, the chicken house plan is ready for you. So don't wait anymore not any longer it's here with us thank you so much for watching this video thank you for coming back thank you for the feedback you gave the other video a lot of love i'm going also to link it so that you see how that project looked like when it was starting and now you you will get a comparison uh thank you so much please remember to subscribe like and share this video and always remember if you have a vision add some passion i'll see you in the next time